What's up, Total Riders? Sorry about the uh, – I'm messing around with these things. I had these things on, so I was feeling cool. And now, let me guess. You can't hear me. I'm guessing when I do this, can you guys – hold on. Now I can't hear myself. What the fuck's happening? I don't understand how this works. But anyway, plug that out. All right, guys. Welcome to the live show. I uh, got some good stuff I want to talk about tonight. Before we do that, um, I would ask you guys uh, to uh, smash that like button, first of all. Let's get that out of the uh, way. We've got a good crowd going here tonight. Right now, I am sharing the link to this on the Clarence with Emerson page. Um, I'm doing that right now as we speak. And I'm also going to share it on the Uncle Turtle Boy page. Those are our two Facebook pages right now, the primary pages. So go ahead and like those. They, they don't grow like at all. Like, I don't know what the fuck's going on with Facebook. I used to, back in the day, you know, when, when we used to get Facebook pages taken down, um, it was so easy to just rebuild. Like I could just do a thousand people, you know, every four or five days, no problem. Like wicked easy. Now it's like, I'm getting like 50 people a day and it's fucking aggravating on the Aiden Carney Uncle Turtle Boy page. So like that. Let people know we're out there. Um, the Clarence page too, like they don't block the Clarence page for whatever reason. So go ahead and like it. I don't gain that many likes on, I don't know if people are afraid to follow um, a personal page like that, but it's got like 23,500 followers. So it's our biggest outlet right now and it doesn't appear to be going anywhere. So go ahead and give that a like. I'm also on the Twitter machine uh, and you can follow me at TB underscore Aiden. That's A-I-D-A-N, the right way, um, at TB underscore Aiden. Uh, hook me up on there. I'm also on Parlor. I'm going to go ahead right, right now and share it on Parlor. Everybody's going to Parlor, guys. We might actually have the free market might have actually worked itself out. The libertarians might have been onto something. I don't know. I refuse to admit that. But you can find me on Parlor. I'm at Turtle Boy, just at Turtle Boy. I got there early, so I got the first dibs on that. So I'm going to go ahead and share it on that. If you're not on Parlor, you should be right now because – Especially with Biden coming into office. Um, sorry, guys. It's going to happen. Joe Biden's going to be the president of the United States. Um, but, yeah, you're going to want to get on Parler because uh, it's only going to get worse on Twitter and on Facebook. I mean, Donald Trump is going to get kicked off of Twitter within, I would say, 30 days of him leaving office. Like that, that's my, like, There's no way he's going to last on Twitter now that he's not the president. But, anyway, go ahead and follow me on those outlets. Um, also, one more thing. This episode is brought to you by our good friends over at Turtle Boy Sports. So uh, we are a completely crowdfunded entity at this point. There you go. Right there. If you'd like to donate, I will be refreshing that throughout the show. If you want to give a shout out to your dog, you know, your girl, your bitch, as you call her, whoever it is, you know, um, you know, maybe your boy got shot in a drive by this week. You want to shout one out for him. Let people know you got t-shirts for sale. Whatever you want to do. I will read it off. I will be your whore. Just, you know, if you donate money, I'll read whatever you put up there. As long as, you know, I'm legally allowed to say it. Okie dokie. Um, am I forgetting? Oh, yeah. So, the I just want to talk about something real quick. So, the traffic on the blog fucking sucks right now. It's, like, depressing. I don't know if you guys noticed this. And I don't know if it's a Facebook thing or whatever or the content just sucks or what the fuck's going on. But I used to average on the TV Daily News page, like... At least 40,000 people a day, at least sometimes 50,000 people a day in a good month. I'm under 20 like this month, under like way cut in half. I don't know what the fuck. And we're like almost halfway through with fucking November. So I don't know if it's the TV daily news stuff. I exclusively share on social media because it doesn't have the following yet. Like 25,000 people a day go directly to Turtle Boy Sports, like clockwork. 25,000 people a day. I don't need to share Turtle Boy on. Um, social media. I also don't make much money on Turtle Boy because it's blacklisted by Google AdSense. So I only share TB Daily News, which gets about 
2,500 to 3,000 people a day that go directly to it because not as many people know about it. It has less email subscribers and stuff like that. So I'm dependent on sharing it on social media. And maybe I'm being shadow banned or something. Something's up because all the posts are getting less um, less and less interaction. And I feel like it's like good stories. Like these are funny sh shits happening in the last few days. I got like, we never run out of content for the live show, do we? So, um, go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead and make sure you get your notifications on those. Uh, and just keep sharing it. Cause like every, every time I, you know, I put a story out, I see it. There's like five comments, like 30 likes. I have 25,000 followers. Like what the hell happened? So the more you like and comment on posts, it's going to come up more and more in the algorithms. They're trying to hide it, but the way to beat that is to just interact with the page as much as possible, share it, etc. So I've shared the link to this. Go ahead and share that for me. And let people know we are out there. Smash that subscribe button, etc. All right. So without further ado, let's get into some things here, shall we? Um, so I, I teased this on the um, what you call it. I, I teased this on the. Let me bring the blog up. Okay, okay. All right, I teased this on the Facebook post from earlier, and uh, I had a pretty big victory in court. I'm going to bring it up now. Let's bring it up. Okay, let's go bigger screen there. Okay, so the Mark Aldana case. Uh, you guys may remember this douchebag uh, because Mark Aldana was... Uh, Black Let's see. was uh, some guy that Feisty Turtle wrote about like three or four years ago in 2017, I want to say. He actually lives in my town, unfortunately. And basically, uh, Mark Aldana uh, was a guy who robbed a home uh, during a home invasion. He was robbing some guy selling pot in West Tatnick, which is right near the Holden line. And he ended up getting shot during a home invasion and he shot the, the homeowner, the guy that lived there. And he'd been arrested a billion times before. Right. And he decides uh, she called him a career criminal in the blog, which is pretty fucking accurate. Anyway, somehow he's not in jail because he's a fucking snitch. He's a snitch. And he uh, has, I'll, I'll show you his blog real quick. Let me, let me bring out the blog on him. If you guys are unfamiliar with this fucking douchebag. Hold on. Chinstrap me. There he is. Okay. So uh, th there he is right there with the Chicago Bulls hat. Uh, he decided to sue me over this. He's been arrested 5 billion times. And, you know, um, I thought it was interesting that uh, this guy is like out on, you know, not in jail or whatever for his crimes. There's the people that he robbed, et cetera. And so I decide in August when this is still going on, I'm going to kick it up a notch, right? If you try suing me, because he's pro se, this is all free to him. He lives with his fucking parents on 205 Salisbury Street in Worcester. I mean, in Holden, rather, uh, right across from the Holden pool, complete douchebag. Uh, and, and this is all just funny games for him. And I'm like, you know what? I need to make, I need to let these people know that this is not going to be tolerated anymore. I ain't going to put up with this bullshit anymore. Like, if you fuck with me with this shit, I'm going to fuck with you. Not only going to fuck with you, I'm going to fuck with people you love. Okay. And I don't normally do this. But if you fuck with me, I'm going to fuck. Like, if you come at me and you and you try to, like, bring a lawsuit against me, I consider that an attack on my family. You're trying to take bread out of my kids' mouths. Uh-uh. Ain't going to happen. You come after my kids, I'm going to come after your fucking kids. Fuck your kids. That's what I think of your fucking kids. All right. So there he is with his fucking whore girlfriend, Carly Johnson, this fucking idiot, uh, at their parents' house in Northboro, at her parents' house in Northboro with his fucking kids. Okay, that he shouldn't even have fucking access to because he's a fucking violent criminal. Fuck him. And I threw him up there. Within hours, this bitch had had messaged me. Oh, my God. Fuck you. Blah, 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 blah. And next thing you know, I got this guy in my inbox begging for mercy, begging for mercy because he realized, like, I, I'm sure she said something like, what the fuck did you do, Mark? This is all your fucking idea. End this shit. I know how to get to these people. You just go after their fucking their wives. That's all you got to do. Just go after their fucking wives because yeah, it's all fun and games for you until your bitch ends up on, on fucking turtle boy. Then it ain't so fun anymore. Is it Mark? Huh? Not so fun anymore. So we decide 
And a lot of people will say, I see some people in the comments saying, like, I don't know about that. No, fuck, this is war. This is war, okay? When General Sherman, when the South would not fucking surrender to the North during the Civil War, we didn't say, well, we're just going to keep killing soldiers. No, 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 no. General Sherman marched to fucking Atlanta, and he lit everything on fire. Fucking everything. Men, women, children, dogs, everything fucking burns until you surrender. That's how it fucking works. If you want to declare war, then people fucking die in war, including civilians. When we bombed Hiroshima and Nagasaki, we know that a bunch of fucking kids and women are going to die in that. Too fucking bad. Then fucking surrender. Huh? Fucking surrender. And then they fucking surrendered, didn't they? So that's what you got to do. Unfortunately, there's collateral damage. So I want to make sure the message is sent here. If you fuck with me, if you try to sue me, I'm not going to go after you. I'm going to go after your fucking family. Don't fuck with me. That's all I'm saying. All right. I'm not fucking playing with these people. I had to pay 30,000 fucking dollars in legal fees last year. This shit's not fucking cute anymore. And I'm not fucking playing defensive and hiding anymore. I'm going to burn your family to the ground. Just understand that. Anyway. And I'm sure Brett's a fan of this. Yeah. So uh, let's talk about what happened with Mark Aldana, shall we? With this lawsuit. I get this today. So uh, there is an anti-slap law uh, statute in Massachusetts. Slap is a, a term for a basically a, a frivolous lawsuit. And an anti-slap in court refers to like getting a ruling that a lawsuit is essentially frivolous. And when you can get an anti-slap judgment in your favor now, then you can get attorney's fees automatically from the plaintiff if you win. And I've never done this before because other attorneys have advised me it's not possible or whatever, but I think I got some bad advice from those attorneys because um, I got a very aggressive attorney for this great guy named Ed O'Brien. He's defending me in the uh, Jamie General Petrakis lawsuit as well, as, as well as the Tony Branch out of Brockton lawsuit. And Ed was basically like, let's get aggressive. Like, you need to send a message to these people that, like, if you play with fire, you're going to get burnt. And we're going to go after them for attorney's fees. Because he's doing this for me for, like, a flat fee for relatively cheap. He hooked it up. And I see that... Uh, I see Brett one. I see the message. I'll, I'll bring him on when I can. Um, but anyway, uh, so this is the we we fought, we get an anti-slap judgment in our favor in court with Aldana. The the motion, the, the case is not dismissed for some reason. I don't know what's his judge, what's wrong with the judge. He didn't dismiss it, but he ruled anti-slap in our favor. And from there, we can apply for attorney's fees. And then we got, I get this, we get this judgment uh, today. Okay. After hearing and reviewing the court allows the defendant's motion for attorney's fees pursuant to blah, blah, blah in the amount of $1,500. Go on. Interesting. So we're the defendant. We win this motion. Um, we dismiss counts one, three, and four of the plaintiff's complaint under the anti slap statute. So according to this law, if the court grants the special motion to dismiss, the court shall award the moving party costs and reasonable attorney's fees, including those incurred for the special motion and any related discovery matters. The award is mandatory. Mandatory. I love seeing that. Further, the moving party need not prevail on all counts to qualify for an award, although a judge has discretion to reduce the award to the count for such limited success. Here, the request for attorney's fees is already fairly modest, and the court declines to use its discretion to remove this amount further. SJC has also recognized that the amount of the award need not be limited to legal work incurred in bringing the special motion itself. Um, it's a little bit complicated there. Um, the legislature uh, has not granted an exception under the anti-slap law statute for parties found to be indignant, because that's what this guy is claiming now, that he's indignant. Well, how am I supposed to do this? I live at home with my mom. I can't work. You know, I have no money. Too bad, the judge is basically saying. Too fucking bad. <laughs> well, the court declines the plaintiff's request, that's him, to stay the order of the attorney's fees until the conclusion of this case. The court notes that the collectability or lack thereof of these fees will not prejudice the plaintiff's right to proceed with the rest of his case, i.e. count two, that is the defamation. So, thus, the defendant's motions for attorney's fees in the amount of $1,500 is allowed. So, he sued me for four things, defamation and three other things. Three of them were thrown out. What we have here, right, is basically my lawyer saying that I've done $1,500 worth of service for my client. 
I would like the plaintiff to reimburse this, please, because he's been because we won the anti slap. So I'm going to need uh, the plaintiff to reimburse me for this because I'm not charging my client for that because we fucking won on those counts. The judge has basically said, yes, you have pay him $1,500 right now. However, if you want to go ahead with the defamation, you're free to do that. But if you lose that, you're going to have to pay even more in legal fees, Mark Aldana. So I hope you got the fuck, get out your checkbook, Mark. You owe my attorney $1,500. Okay. You lose. You lose, motherfucker. Your fucking wife, your girlfriend, and your kids are forever on my fucking blog. I will never take them down, ever. I want them to know what a shameful fucking disgrace of a human being their sperm donor is. I want them to understand, like, man, my dad fucked with the wrong guy. That was really fucking stupid, dad. Huh? That was really fucking stupid. What were you thinking, dad? I want them to fucking hate him because they should hate him because he's fucking horrible, okay? And to make it even worse... This motherfucker, I want to show you the uh, succession of emails that I got from this guy. So uh, the first email I got from him, uh, I saw when I first got served with this uh, lawsuit, I sent him an email and I said, um, would you like to settle this outside of court a year ago? And he said, this guy thinks he's so fucking smart. He's just a ratchet. With due respect, your correspondence leaves little to consider in its present form. To which of the parties that a claim has been brought against in the Worcester Superior Civil Court in reference to docket number does this correspondence represent? Who is representing said party's interest at present? If legal counsel has been retained in reference to this matter, it should be counsel that contacts the plaintiff. Additionally, what is being proposed here? So he wants to play fucking Perry Mason with me. He wants to get fucking cute. Okay, we can do that. We go forward with the lawsuit. Well, then I, after I, on August 27th, the day after I write that um, blog and put his uh, girlfriend and kids in the blog, okay, he writes, um, he writes to me, let's see where to go. Uh, that's from him. He's a little out of order. Let's see. Yeah, this is what I proposed to him in um, November, uh, back in the day, uh, last year. I said, what is being proposed here is I do you the favor of taking the blog down and in return, you drop this lawsuit. The blog was up three years ago. I could care less if it takes down. Nobody even knows who you are. Most of you probably had no idea who Mark Aldana was prior to this lawsuit. It wasn't a big deal. But I figured I'd take it down. He chose to play with fire instead, and now he's getting fucking burnt, isn't he? Yeah. I bet you feel pretty fucking stupid, Mark. You should because you're a stupid fucking person. Yeah. So this is what the email I get from him shortly after the blog goes up that has his girlfriend and kids in it. He says, turtle. He dresses me as turtle. Would you like to end this? <laughs> Would you like to end this? I do not want to go through any more litigation. And it seems like you do not want to either. I am asking you to put a hold on your content while we work this out. Meaning make it not visible to the public. Let me know. So he's begging for mercy. And even in this state, I'm like, you know what? I respond. I said, I would like to end this. We can end it today. If you drop the lawsuit, that's it. I never, I never said I'd take anything down. Just drop the lawsuit. That's it. And we'll move on. I'm not taking shit down. That that uh, that boat has passed. Okay. You had that chance last year, last November. It's gone now. Well, what we can do is I can spare you the legal fees. Like we won't go after you for anti-slap. Instead, he chose to play with fire. He dicked around with my attorney. He sends him this email. Edward, confidential. I have been reaching out. So... Basically, he had X amount of days to get back to my attorney with the agreement he never did. And my attorney is like, yeah, let's fucking let's go after him. Then. Let's get him. Send a message. You got to send a message to these pricks. And he says, I've been reaching out to you for seven days now. Uh, we have we, we had come to terms on a settlement that the plaintiff would drop the lawsuit him and the defendants would remove the publications and promise not to make any further publications. There was a communication dispute that resulted in a delay to facilitate an agreement. That dispute has been resolved. However, instead of finding a notice of settlement to enter in the court, I find a slew of documents about discovery. <laughs> this is a bit confusing. I have attached here too the proposed settlement agreement that seems to encapsulate agreeable terms of all parties involved. He tries to sound so smart. It's great. He's just like Ryan Waters. I love these. These are the real psychopaths, by the way, the people that think they're fucking smart. They're the most dangerous people out there. I've also included a notice of settlement agreement for the court and give permission for the Nissi order to be signed and entered into the record if accepted. 
So um, basically, uh, he too little, too late. You tried reaching out to my lawyer. We gave you a chance. You fucked that one up. And here we are. I mean, what a fucking dumbass. So this is setting the... I wanted to talk about this tonight because I am setting the tone now. And I hope all the other ratchets out there are watching. If you fuck with me and you try to get cute with these fucking lawsuits, I'm no longer playing defensive. I'm playing offensive. I'm going to fucking, we are going to get you on anti-slap every single fucking time. Now that we know that it works every single fucking time. And I'm going to run up the legal fees too. I'm going to tell my lawyer to bill me for every email he writes, bill me for every phone call he makes, right? Round up on every hour of research that you do. Raise your fucking rates. I don't care because I won't be paying it. You're going to pay it when you lose, okay? There are now consequences for coming at me and not being victorious. So just understand that moving forward. If you want to get cute with me, we can get fucking cute. Now, I don't even need an attorney anymore because I dissolved the companies in April and I am now able to represent myself. Coincidentally, the lawsuit stopped then. Immediately, the lawsuit stopped coming. So it was very clear that these people like Mark Aldana were just trying to bleed me dry. That's the only reason th these lawsuits happened. It was just to bleed me dry. They were embarrassed by their own gross, disgusting behavior. And instead of just being a fucking adult and being a better person, or just contacting me privately and whatever, talking it over. You chose to go this fucking route. You do that, we go General Sherman on your ass. We burn fucking everything. Everything burns. So just understand that that is the policy going forward. So I'm told Brett wants to call in. Let me uh, bring Brett. I'll put Brett on the stream. Yeah, I'll put Brett in the link there. Yeah, so I mean, if Kate, if Kate Peter, hey Kate, I hope you're watching this. We all know you're not going to sue me. We all know you raised three thousand dollars to come at me with a lawsuit, but you weren't going to do that. You're just stealing from your followers. Duh, we all know that. But if you did decide to make that very, very big mistake and try to sue me, Kate, just understand we will be doing the same to you. There will be an anti-slap motion, and we will fucking prevail. Now that we know it works, we will prevail every fucking time, Kate. So I dare you. I fucking dare you. Anyway, um, uh, Brad, I put the uh, link in there if you want to come on. Or did I put did I put it in? Yeah. So Brett, if you want to come on, there it is right there. Let me uh, refresh the donos real quick. See if we got any donos here. Okay, no donos. That's okay because I want anti-slap. But um, if you guys do want to donate, boom, there it is right there. Um, celebrate the victory, etc. Okay, so I guess Brett's not coming on or because somebody I got a text from a turtle rider saying Brett wanted to come on. I'm not sure if that's true. If not, I got another thing I could talk about here with Monica Cannon Grant because we do have an update with her. Um, I miss any good comments while I was out, while I was ranting there. Okay. Um, that's a spanking. <laughs> My mom had an anti-slap order against my dad when I was a kid. He couldn't come within 100 feet. That's a good one. That's a good one, man. Um, all right. Um, so I guess Brett's not coming on then. I'm taking it. No, no donos. Maybe later. We'll see. Is Brett coming on or no? Just let me know, Brett. If not, I'll go on to the next topic. But somebody said that you wanted to come on. I'll just text them. Did I get my mail resolved yet? Um, no. I mean, well, it's coming to my house, but they never, I highly doubt they investigated or did anything. He's getting the groceries. Okay. In the meantime, Let's go on to the next topic, shall we? Uh, so uh, Monica Cannon Grant is back in the news. So she, you got to see this video that she posted on her Facebook page today. So they, um, she was honored by the Boston Celtics today and she got a new bus. Check out this bus. Violence in Boston Social Impact Center. Just gets her free fucking bus. That's how she rolls. There it is. Somehow she just gets a bus. 
And she was honored at a ceremony by the Boston Celtics as a hero among us. And Taco Fall joined the call. I mean, this is un fucking believable. So we're going to find out who all the people are in this video. We are going to contact them and we are going to fucking continue to expose this fraud. Check out this video. I'm, I'm just waiting for my friends to log on. Sorry. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, Kaden. It's lit, right? That's some it's, real OG violence. That's some social. Thank that's you. That's some real stuff. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh should I got a bus? Oh, God. I'm waiting for y'all to log on so I can show y'all my VM. First, let me show you the man who did it. Because, right, my fingers don't work. That's the man who did it. Say hi, Calvin. Hi, guys. <laughs> Now I'm going to turn the camera around so I can show y'all my van. Y'all ready? My husband's on. Donna, I see you. You need a ride? You don't even know what it looked like. I need y'all all to log on right now so you can see my van. It's violence of Boston's van. Whatever. Same thing. Y'all ready? Check my DM. What's up, Brett? You all there? Right, I got you. I just got Yeah, out. yeah, I'm good. Let's just watch this video real I gotta quick. I got to hurry up. It's yes. 3 yep. o'clock. I'm getting honored by the Boston Celtics in like oh, 30 minutes. There Bye. you go. Being honored by the Celtics. Yeah, oh! Okay, Kaden, you got to get out the picture. I mean, it's All unbelievable right. that this racist cunt One. gets honored by the I'm Celtics on, as a hero among us. So obviously our message hasn't spread enough yet. We're just going to have to increase the pressure, aren't Look we? at the violence in Boston. <laughs> Yo! Oh my God! <laughs> Oh, the same Boston Celtics that want to lecture you how dope this man is that he about racism, right? Inside the building and put it on the fucking vehicle. You see that? Black Lives Matter. Is that oh, Tupac and Biggie? Oh, both of whom were killed by other back. black this people? Is the artwork that's in the front of my building. He put it on the van. She really has Tupac and Biggie on it. Oh, Unbelievable. My God. But I didn't even get to the best part. We didn't even get to the hood. Okay? We haven't got to the hood. Do y'all see that? The bipolar express. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. So, oh man. look at the hood. Oh that my God. The artwork that is in the studio inside my building. Unbelievable. This bitch First gets a off, free van. how dope it is to have Method Man, Nas, in common, and all of these people on the hood of your vehicle. Method Man, okay. I'm popping in these streets. And some chick in a bikini, okay. <gasps> oh my god! I'm popping, popping in these streets. Oh my god, look at this shit. This is so amazing. Oh my god. Oh, and the colors just go right with our organization. Mm. Violence of Boston. That is the and ugliest Diego. looking van, by the way, I've ever and seen in my this life. This is what it looks like. And Calvin did it. Thank you, Calvin. You're welcome. Yeah, we got security cameras. I gotta find out who Calvin is. If you want to. Oh, he... I got armed security too. You hear that? Hold on. Yeah, we got security cameras inside and outside. Try it if you want to. I got armed security too. She has armed security, guys. Armed security. You see what he put there? It says. Violence in Boston Social <laughs> Impact Center was yeah. established to prevent and reduce the impact of violence by addressing yeah, how's that going? basic needs. B Boston's Housing never been more violent. Public safety for the disenfranchised residents of the city of Boston. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> now, violence in Boston was created so Monica Cannon Grant can never yeah, get a job and still yeah. enrich herself. That's why it was created. The project hitting me is like jumping through the roof right now. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Oh man, yo, this is so lit. <laughs> the bipolar express, that's too good. <sighs> this is... I mean, aside from the fact that everybody's gonna know it's me coming down the street. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the hood, it's the artwork from the building. I'm mad because the artist who did this just left. This is so dope. Support black business, y'all. Support black business. What is the name of your business, Calvin? Supreme Mobile Tire and Okay. Supreme Mobile Tire and We're going to boycott them. Supreme 
mobile tire and auto repair. We are going to boycott the fuck out of that place. Do you understand? Do you understand how talented we are? Violence and bosses. We are? You didn't do shit. Just to let y'all know the van was all white. Was then thank God we got rid of that. (laughs) I mean, unbelievable. Thank you, Calvin. Oh, all right, I'm going to end this live. I'm tired of talking to y'all now. Okay, so that's that. What's happening, Brett? How you doing? No, oh, wait, did we lose him? No, hey. I'm right here. What up, son? What's happening? All right. Uh, well, no, fuck Monica Cannon Grant, number one. Uh, you had some other fucking hood rat paint a bunch of dead rappers that were killed by other black people on your hood. Sorry, big fucking deal. No one gives a fuck. <laughs> no one. <laughs> I'm still stuck on the thing with the lawsuits. I yeah. love the new Aiden. I love that. Listen, if you want to keep doing this, then I'm going to fuck you back. Yeah. I love that you're no longer just going to fucking, not saying you did, but I did. you used to just take it. You I know did. what I mean? I did. And not for nothing, bend over and how fast is this going to go? No. <laughs> like, you know, I like feet? this yeah. motherfucker. Yeah. I like the, the fucking, the Viking. It says, if you want to keep doing this, then let's fuck. Yeah. Let's put the whole dick in and fuck. <laughs> no? No, you're absolutely right. That's a great way to put it. Uh, it's like, there's only so much you can take. You're like, there's only so much bullshit. Like, how much you can fucking pay and stress. And you're like, another fucking lawsuit? Like, why am I always on the defensive here? Like, that's not what I do. I don't go on the defensive. Why am I always, like, hiding from the... Why am I scared of this fucking loser why he should be scared of me absolutely yeah. and, and see just the name the offensive like why am i not on the offensive we're not we because i'm i'm i ain't shit but you're offensive yeah. you know you're offensive i am like you, you kind of built this whole thing on it <laughs> you know what i mean you're absolutely right and, and 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 if people look at you and especially these part-time cocksuckers like the eds and the all these fucking off-brand motherfuckers that go, I used to love him until yeah. he exposed the fact that this cunt robbed him of advertisers, hacked the shit, like all these other fucking facts. And I've tried to stay out of this, but fuck it, man. Let's all of us just get in a room and fuck. That's <laughs> fuck, 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 fuck. <laughs> and whoever comes out, comes out. <laughs> We're coming out, believe it. We're coming well, no, no, no. I, I'm watching some show last night that fucking short bus baby, uh, New England nonsense, whatever the fuck his name is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. And asshole's wife and the other broad go on there. I tune in just in time to see a screenshot about me. I'm like, I have nothing to do with you guys. It's bullshit. You guys don't like Kate and Ashley. Oh, no. No one likes them. Nobody likes them. And no. everything will come out. But I'm just tired of these off-brand motherfuckers using your name, my name, everyone else's name. And you guys want to throw lawsuits and GoFundMes and all that. I'm telling you, man, let's just spit on the tip and let's get the fucking brother. Let's (laughs) get you fucking. Let's Let's do it. And by the way, I want to take a minute. Speaking of you mentioned that, right? Um, let me talk about Mass (laughs) Report, which I refuse to even call it Mass Report. It's Kate Peter. Like, it's a, you know, that's not even, that is a copyright, uh, copyrighted name that she's using. She's not even allowed to use that. Uh, so I want to just talk about <laughs> the downfall of Kate Peter for a moment. Since Josh Abrams went to jail, here's her stupid channel, right? And uh, like, if you look at the views on some of these, like she was feeling so good about herself. 11,000 views. This Remember how often Gaffney used to post like the daily what, every week? Every, every week. week. It wasn't oh. every Monday. Every fucking time they went live. Look at this. Three to one. She's killing him in the views. And I didn't really care because that doesn't really matter that much to me. You know what I mean? I have like a lot of other shit, like a blog for one thing like that I do, you know. So I didn't really care. But now, ever since Josh Abrams went to jail, and look at these numbers. Three thousand four seven four three three two two one. 
and they're, they're fucking dead. Like, let's uh, let's just watch this for a moment. So, like, I don't know you guys. I'm just the first time I've had a conversation with you guys. I know how to find information on people. I do that for a living. Like, I've done it for media outlets. <laughs> all for Look at this. This is the show. Quite some time. And when I interact with people on a topic, I tend to try to get that person to find Who's out this guy exactly down here? Hold what this happened. Thing. And find out what their what their angle or what their angle is, because what what is what is because what's come to find out what because what's come to find out is that you have video, you have video you have videos that come out early. Yeah, they, I'm already fucking bored with it. Already fucking bored with it. No, it's all and and the other one the other night was um them two broads bitching and showing receipts or whatever the fuck you guys say about Kate and Ashley and Stacy and Chris, and I'm watching it and I'm like Jesus Christ, you guys are worse than Nyquil. Like, literally, I haven't drank or smoked anything last night. I watched 20 minutes of that live. Went right to fucking bed. On News Now New England? Yeah. Yeah, I was... I and was, I don't I was, mind that guy. Like, I got nothing against, yeah, I got, uh, nothing against him. Brian or whatever the fuck his yeah. name is. I don't give a fuck. But it's just... Like, what the fuck are you people doing? I mean, Google... Go to YouTube and Google just Kate Peter VS. Kate Peter Verse. 30 videos show up, son. Really? I got to see. You can do it right now, I bet. Watch. Peter Verse. This. Yep, just VS. <laughs> I there's the Ashley them. videos. There's the fucking, oh, I don't know what the right. fuck you've been Googling. Well, I don't know. Teen Wolf. What the fuck is this? <laughs> Peter? Teen Wolf? Peter Lloyd? Dude, there was the one from uh, some guy that's, uh, his name is Fuck Lawyers or something, or it's some clever variation, Luck Foyers or something. He had wow. a whole thing on her. Like, there's literally 10 of these short bus baby channels that yeah. all talk about her. Yeah. So And um, why? Wait, wait, wait. Why do they talk about her? Um, Because do they think she's cool? I don't know. No, 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 because she makes the most noise. Right. I the squeakiest say. wheel gets the grease, son. Yeah, it's true. No, that's that's her whole You know what thing, I'm saying? Right? Yeah. That and is they whole... keep fucking with you, fucking with me, fucking with everyone on Facebook and all these other platforms. I'm telling you, man, build this. This is your fucking, this is your sweet spot, brother. YouTube? I swear to fucking God, me and you have had our problems, but you are really good at talking shit. Like, oh, not like a... I'm good at insulting. Yeah, you're good at talking shit. You yeah, know what I mean? Me you make politics interesting. You know how that is to fucking do? Oh, I bet it is. This is as hard as fucking somebody in the ass six inches deep. <laughs> Listen, you little fucking asshole, you tiny motherfucker. <laughs> I've I fucking spent the last two weeks watching nothing but politics. You can show our text. I'm like, listen, you dick. I just watched four hours of the main community boards. Because yeah. I'm so into this politics shit now, because of you, because you yeah. made it interesting. Hey, you know I what I mean? I do it again. Hey, ah. okay, so it's it's not quite this. So this this video that she did the other day, I guess, got like way less than us. And again, I'm not even really trying that hard over here. And I mean, it's like literally just her. Oh no! And her, like, I guess the sound guy is gone. Everybody's fucking gone. Is this the one where they just watched the old videos? Yeah, like so. She's got some guy there who doesn't say a fucking word and he's hidden behind the fucking microphone. <laughs> I mean, he's probably there because she's giving him fucking Adderall or something. I don't know. And this is the she show. Said, you have to sit here for 45 minutes or yeah. you're not getting any ass or fucking pills. Yeah. Like, listen to what she says here. Check this out. So we have some videos anyway that we're going to watch together. Um, and that's what we're going to do is just watch some videos. <laughs> <laughs> so this is we're going to watch some videos. Absolutely. And she's not kidding. For the next, oh, for, I'm not gonna... for the rest of the episode, they sit there and they watch fucking videos. Old videos. <laughs> Dude, what a, wow. What fucking. Did you see that other thing? They were like, hey, why don't you guys tell us what we should do? Did you yeah, see that yeah. fucking oh, post? Oh, yeah, yeah. Let me pull, let me pull that one up again. Uh <laughs> Like, what the fuck are you yeah. doing? Yeah, I mean, they have hit. She's hit rock bottom. It, you hate to see it, Brett. You hate to see it. I mean, even when you go. In no, the I don't. I love to fucking oh, see no, it. No, Maybe no, you no, hate to see it. No, I not, fucking no, love it. Because no, this no. cunt was on TV the other day with that fucking half a fag fucking Paula Crispy cunt, whatever the fuck that yeah. fag, fucking faggot's name is, yeah. saying, <clears throat> I don't care about the money. 
I don't care about this. I don't care about that. I hate doxing. Listen, cunt, you gave my name, my whole name, my my parents, my dead sister-in-law. You, you gave everything to your trolls. And now you want to pretend you're against doxing? Yeah. Listen, I'm with it. Any of you, uh, hit, hit open statement. Any of you that have a problem with me are welcome to show up at my door. Yeah. I live in a state to where what happens in my doorway might not benefit you, <laughs> but you are welcome to fucking come. Give it a shot. Because you're all little cunts and you all dox everyone and you all yeah. do this little sneaky bullshit. Yeah. I see that page that we don't talk about that they're showing pictures of like your family and they're doing all this other shit. Yeah. And tagging people and stuff. Like, um, at some point, you guys are going to have to be like the, the Biden guys. And you're going to have to pay for your sins, man. At some point, that's inevitable, right? Or no? Yeah. No, it is. And am I reading this right from Courtney Anderson, a comment? She got in touch with my abusive ex. Listen, I, I love Courtney to death. And uh, I know her. And um, uh, she, she can either PM or go in the comments or whatever the fuck. I'm not going to give anything about her up, but she has been terrorized by these people, son. Has she? Terrorized. Oh, yeah. absolutely. She'll tell you. I mean, she's Have mentioned her call in. Yeah. Give her the link. I'm telling you. Yeah. I mean, if anybody else has been wronged by Kate Peter, if you guys want to call in or Monica Cannon Grant or whatever, Dude, anyone's but free to so call many in. people have, though, you know, yeah. but but she uses the puppets. Yeah. She uses the the Chris Keegan's and the Stacy's and the and the other ones. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like they, they yeah. at least you stand up for what the fuck you say. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like yeah. you'll sit here on a fucking Tuesday <laughs> and say, listen, suck my dick, suck every dick I have and sue me, faggot. And you'll <laughs> say it to their face. Yeah. Versus these assholes have to send little minions and puppets. Yeah. To do their work. Yep. You know what I mean? Can't do it themselves. And I don't send anyone there. I'll go there my goddamn self. And I've, that's I've, what I'm saying. At I've least you do it with your name, your face. And I've told them a bunch of times like, debate me whenever, wherever. And not even just her. I know she would never do that, but like any of her minions, like, st but they can't do it because they're, Brett, they're afraid of me. Like that, at the end of the day, these people, they talk a lot of shit. They do in their Discord, but none of them would ever debate me. They know they're out. Nope. Me. You're wrong. You know, oh, you don't think so? You think, how come? No, I, I know for a fact you're wrong. How come? Because they think they could be you. But they get told by mommy that they don't get to. Do you understand oh, you what I'm saying? So. You think so? You think she's directing? Uh, I don't think I know for a fucking fact. Ooh, interesting. That how do you she know that? stops people from engaging with us. Not us. See, I, I, I yeah, say no, us and I don't mean to. It's you. It's her beef is with you. You yeah. know what I mean? I yeah. say us just because I love this fucking show, this brand, and all of it, and I, I, I take it personally. That's yeah. why I say us. Yeah. No, no, there's nothing wrong with us. And I'd like to point out that she actually wrote the name of this thing is Let's Determine the Future of Mass Hole Report and Give Away Some Cash. So she she put out like a survey of how they can be better. It's like, because basically Josh Abrams is in jail, so it's like, what do we do now? Like, how the fuck? Like, what are we going to do now? How am I going to basically get <laughs> to give me money now that Josh is in jail? And nobody's watching anymore because he, my whole fucking show revolved around him. If she was smart, Brett, she would talk about me, right? Because that would actually move the needle. Absolutely. But, but she does slip that in, though. Like, when yeah. she goes on these off brand panels, mm -hmm. she throws your name around like it's fucking uh, confetti. Yeah. Someone says somebody get bread a joint guys uh, guys guys shot out of a cannon tonight. <laughs> you no, are no, it just, I, no I'm high as fuck and, and I've had a couple drinks and oh, I'm yeah. about to do another bong hit. It yeah. just gets me mad. Wow. That, oh, yeah. I, I hate the hypocrisy. You um, don't get to fucking act one way and then do the underhanded shit that you get mad at me for doing. Like that makes no sense. I know it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. Hey, let me read off a couple um uh don't know here. We got Suzanne uh who says a shout out to my dog Murphy, to your dog, her actual dog, DOG. Thank you, Suzanne. <laughs> we have Heather. Um, and I I assume this is um she goes in memory of Lieutenant Jason Menard. I, I 
if that's Heather, mm. I think that's Jason's sister, who is just one of the best people I've ever met. Yeah, uh, yeah. Heather is a uh, awesome person. She's been a turtle rider forever. Last year, um, a lot of businesses came together. Um, yeah, we got some gift cards for her because horrible. I mean, that's her. Um, that's her, that's her brother. You know, terrible, terrible thing. Uh, he died. Jason and I died one year ago tomorrow. Uh, it is the one year anniversary of that. Uh, so, I mean, talk about a hero, what that guy did. And then compare what he's doing right now to his fucking, um, to the teachers. And I'd like to point this out, right? And I wasn't going to say nothing about this, but like, so remember last year, Brett, how everybody in the community was like, we're going to come together for Jason Menard and his family. Remember that? First yeah. Yeah. Oh, we're yep. all going to come together. So his family lives in Worcester, right? Schools aren't open in Worcester, Brett. And if you recall, Jay Menard had a, um, has a spe- well, three kids behind, one of whom is severely special needs. So where are the teachers now, right? Why is the teachers union in Worcester voting against going back to school because they're afraid of a fucking coronavirus? Remember, they said they were all going to do anything for the Menard family, anything they need. You know what they need right now, Brett? School. They need fucking school. Because how the fuck is she supposed to work with a special needs son at home? And two other fucking kids. You tell me that. And her, and you know why she's a widow? Because her fucking husband is a goddamn hero. Because he ran into a burning building because he thought there was children inside there. And oh yeah, while he was there, he saved the life of another firefighter who he literally threw out of a second floor window. All right, the guy is a fucking hero, and he died in the fucking fire. And. Where and everybody said, Oh, yeah, we'll be there for you. Well, where the fuck are you now? You couldn't, you're not even, you're will, you're not even willing to catch a fucking virus that has no chance of killing you whatsoever. That's how much of a fucking coward you are. Fucking teachers, disgraceful, disgraceful what the teachers union is doing. Anyway, I'm, I'm still stuck. I'm still stuck on the fact that a child died of starvation. Yes. Because you cocksuckers are too fucking selfish. To let this little asshole come have lunch. Yeah, I don't mean asshole in a bad way. I'm not talking shit. You know what I'm saying? Oh, exactly, exactly. Uh, I know exactly. Kid died, man. Died. Yeah, died. yeah. and it's just kind of whatever. No, no, yeah, it was on the news. What a day, and yeah. only with you, I think. Or <laughs> did anyone else cover that? No, I mean, like Courtney, Courtney here. Uh, I think these are her, uh, her kids. Josh goes to Worcester Tech, Haley too. I assume they're talking about the Menard kids there. And if that's true, that is where that teacher was from. Um, what's her name? Jocelyn Coughlin, the union hack, who was out partying with Molly McCullough all summer. Remember they had the um, album COVID Summer 2020? <laughs> and they were all partying. All these teachers were together in social distancing. There was like 20 fucking kids they, they had in their group. 20 kids. And they can do that, and but they can't go and fucking teach. So... Fuck them. Fuck them. Fuck them. Fuck them. Fuck them. Fuck them. I can't say enough horrible things about people like that. Anyway, Bounce says, Unc, I am fucking stuck in Fort Dix, New Jersey, doing pre-deployment training. And the only thing keeping me from donkey punching people is your show. Good job. Keep it up. Tell Brett I'd love to have a drink with you guys. Bounce. Hey, thank you very hey, much. Hey, if you ever make it up here, thank you for your service. And I'd be proud to have a drink with you, sir. Me too, Bounce. Absolutely. Get in touch. Western Mass Turtle Girl says funds for a Turtle Boy bus so you can pop in these streets. I know. Yeah, we got to get our own bus to be, could be with Monica. <laughs> we got to pop in these streets. KMAD says, thanks for doing what you do. And uh, KMAD, thank you for doing what you do, supporting the cause. Um, and uh, also, Seven Pounders, <laughs> shout out to my cat, Kovu. Chances of the Pats beat the Ravens after barely beating the Jets. Proud to be a supporter. Peace. Uh, I would say very slim, but. It's football. <laughs> you know, you never know. Lamar's not, not even a chance that they win. They're only not. seven point underdogs. Only seven points. Yeah, yeah, that's great. But yeah, yeah. you saw how they performed last week. Yeah. So anyway, at least uh, you know what, Brent. Even during mm-hmm. the lowest points, at least I never had to have a show entitled "Let's Determine the Future of Turtle Boy Together" and give away cash to make you like me. I've never had to fucking do that. So, so my know. fucking problem is. That I look, I'm in most of these groups. You know what I mean? The the the, the fan groups. Yeah. And they always post these links. And I I ended up on this fucking link with the literally gave away seventy five dollars and a bunch of merchandise for nothing. Like no one was like, hey, why don't we do a show with? 
and like had actual ideas for a format. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Mm -hmm. No one did that. They're all like, frauditors, yeah, love you, Kate. Put on the copper uniform again. Uh -huh. <laughs> they're saying uh -huh. Uh -huh. Like As they came all over their keyboard. I know. It is It is pretty pathetic, the amount of horny dudes in there. who Imagine thinking she was attractive. Imagine how bad your life would be if you thought she was attractive. Somebody called her a scarecrow last night on that panel. I've never heard a more accurate term. She you looks know? a little rougher now. I will say that. Yeah. That uh, like the, the past couple ones, I, I think that's that's an addict with money versus an addict without it. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Like an addict with no money just looks like a regular person. Yeah. An it's addict with all these donations for fake lawsuits looks like a different motherfucker, man. It's true. It's true. It looks like you aged 20 fucking years. She's not looking good. She's not looking good. You know, um, yeah. but anyway, I see, I noticed Lee is going at it in the comments with Richio. Remember, hey, Brian, remember last uh, Brian Riccio, the guy that ran away from the her. The bald guy with the broken glasses. Yes, that ran away not once, but twice from a girl. A five. So he's girl. talking shit to Leah in the comments? Yeah, apparently. And, Dude, uh, you already lost. You lost, buddy. You lost. No, in, in real life, yeah. you were standing a foot from her. You had the chance. And you lost. You had the chance. You, lo you lost. Yeah. Yeah, you lost, buddy. Sorry, man. Sorry, Brian. <laughs> you don't get to stand in front of someone and then claim victory when you coward like a bitch. Yep. You don't get to do that. Yep. You don't. Sorry, Brian. Uh. Anyway. Um, <laughs> yeah. So that's interesting. <laughs> uh, by the way, uh, and did I miss anything else here? Yeah. So I'm going to do a blog in the Monica thing uh, coming up tonight. Um, do I have anything else up there? She got really ratchet. So I am I'm really upset, Brett, about this. The fact that the fucking Celtics and this is a, maybe some time has passed. So they think this is okay, but like the Celtics are about to find out. We've been slacking on her. We can't give up. A, I'm not done with this. This awful, disgusting human being, Monica Cannon Grant. We need to. It is unacceptable that the Boston Celtics, the 17 championship Boston Celtics, are honoring a woman who called Rayla Campbell, a friend of mine, a um. Uh, a house n-word she called her uh she said that she's just the n-word several times uh she accused her of riding white penis for a credit score this is unacceptable okay, yeah okay like uh, no, there's just some static it looks like you're eating a bag of chips okay it's fixed all right no i'm good so yeah we'll be back on, on monica because that really is just un unacceptable and i'm gonna find out and maybe some turtle res can help me Find out who's responsible for putting this on to the Celtics. And we are going to email the fuck out of them. We are going to cancel culture the fuck out of these people. Because I'm team cancel culture, Brett. I don't know if you know that. I used to be anti-cancel culture. No, no, I, yeah. You you switched. I found out how fun it is. And I'm and, like. Uh, well, that's the same as team COVID. Yeah. You remember yeah. uh, a year ago, I was team COVID, all that. You're like, oh, that's so bad. And now you're like, just kill everyone. Yeah, <laughs> you yeah. don't give a fuck. <laughs> and I'd like to point out, uh, Brian Riccio says even the mass GOP wants nothing to do with her, as in Rayla. Crazy nonsense. Uh, that's like a badge of honor because I don't know if there's any uh, organization that's more um, deficient in uh, running itself. Would you want to be endorsed by them? Honestly, that's what I'm saying. Like that's like saying that you're like, well, I'm the president of the Wyoming Democrats. Uh, congratulations oh that's yeah. like I, i'm like hey i'm gonna run for something and these motherfuckers got my back yeah. yay it's like what are you doing yeah um so m job you're a knicks fan m job oh how the fuck did you become a knicks fan oh sorry to hear that man sorry to hear that i mean you guys they had their chance when michael was out they had their chance to win a championship and they couldn't fucking do it, man. Um, but I stopped watching basketball back in the strike days, I think in the nineties when they had the, the strike. You remember that? Uh, the, Where, NBA yeah, the NBA had an Isaiah Washington, I think was the spokesman for the players union or whatever. Mm -hmm. And he said, if I can't make 3.8 and I can only make three, five, I'm not playing. And that's why I was like, all right. I literally gave away all my basketball gear that next weekend. 
Like people came to the house and I was giving away Orlando Magic and Boston Celtics. I didn't even know there was a lockout. I don't remember that at all. No, it wasn't a lockout. It was that fake strike back in the 90s. I'm telling you. Isaiah Thomas, Isaiah Isaiah Washington. One of them was the head of the the people that talk for us fucking shit. Yeah. Yeah. And if I don't make 3.5, I ain't playing. And I was like, oh, so it's fuck the fans. Yeah. Right? All right, then. Yeah. (laughs) So 98 basketball happen. Okay, gotcha. All right. Uh any questions you guys have? Let's do a little ask turtle boy. Brett, you're more than welcome to stick around um for the ask turtle uh, it's boy. Up to you. Yeah. yeah, you're more than welcome. Fuck. Pull up a chair, stay a while. I didn't hit the bottom. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. I didn't mean to hijack the show. I just had oh, to call in because I was all pissed off. My fault. No. It was an honor. I loved your commentary tonight. So, hey, what I think this weekend, if you have the time, get that Cully fucking cuck on. And the three of us, Saturday night, start drinking and have a two-hour show. Let's do it. The fans would love that. I'm down. You guys. All right. Wait. Type one if you would like it. Like, you like to do this bullshit? Yeah. Type one if you want me, Aiden, and Cully. To do the Saturday night show drinking. Punk. Okay. Or two if you don't have any interest. Go. I think like gonna eight, be a lot. I don't think there's gonna be many twos. I don't think there's gonna it's be it's gonna many. be all ones. This is a loaded question. It has to be, it would be great. <laughs> okay. I like, was going at him on Twitter with this. I was okay. like, dude, grab a six pack of Zebra. Let's do a drinking show on Saturday. Okay, okay, we're doing it. Yeah. <laughs> He's just gonna steal his phone like you. You just read. Uh, Wait, what are people saying about me? <laughs> <laughs> That's what he did last time. Yeah. Know. He goes, dude, I don't give a fuck about what you're talking about. Did you see what yeah. M Job 72 said about me two minutes yeah. ago? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. I like him, though, man. He oh. fucking takes a joke and he's an all right dude with me. Yeah, I like him. I don't a lot. Give a fuck. All right, guys. Any questions you guys have? Fire away. If you can call it a night, let me refresh them. Donos one more time. Uh, don't. Uh, oh, we got another dono here. We got a dono from Anonymous. Says Brian Riccio is a piece of shit. Monica hates you because you are melanin adjacent. Remember that. So that's a good. That's how you. That is right there, guys. That's how you fucking give a dono, and you get your message out. You can roast anybody you fucking want on here if you donate. All right. Uh, how's those uh, so uh, victory predictions? So I don't, I mean, I predicted he would win. I mean, you got to go with me. And yeah, right, Brett? <coughs> All right. Uh, it, it didn't work out. It is what it is. But you know what? You know what I'm not going to do? Wine like a cunt like you did for the last four years. I'll tell you that much. I'm on to the next one, man. I don't let politics control my life, unlike you. BC going to upset Notre Dame. The last time Notre Dame beat a number one team in the country, last time Notre Dame beat a number one team in the country, like they did against Clemson the other day, they lost to BC the next week in 1993. That one still hurts. Not going to lie. I was uh, in sixth grade when that happened. It was fucking awful. Uh, Anything else you guys got? Any update on Gaffney? Nah, not much to talk about. All right. TV is my president. There you go. TV is the president. All right. Anything else you guys got? Anything else you guys got before we call it a night? Did we lose Brett there? Okay. We, I guess we lost Brett. Is he dead? I don't know. He, he might be dead. I don't know. Who you got, t- Tennessee or Indy? Um, I mean, the game's already started, but I took Indy. Uh, I don't know why I took Indy. I'm probably gonna, I assume they're getting smoked. I just, I'm in a pick 'em league, and I, I'm in first place by a lot. I mean, I'll show you this. Check this out. So, this is my pick 'em league. Let me go. Let's see. Group picks. Let's see. How do you get the group picks? I'm a Baker boy. That's the name of my team. Um, 
Hold on. I'll show you my picks here. So this is what I do in the picks, right? So I just go over here. See how it's like pick distribution? I don't put any thought into this whatsoever. My goal is like, I'm like, I'm going against like 12 other people. So you want to pick the opposite of what everyone else does and hope to get lucky. That's your only hope of winning with that many people in it. So I'm like, I see 77% of people pick Tennessee. I'm picking Indy, period. I don't fucking know. So I just go, the op. I just look wherever the red bar is. I just pick the red bar. I, that, that's the team I go with. And as you can see, when that happens, you're either going to finish in last, which I got last year, or first. And as you can see right now, there is, I'm a Baker boy, 72 wins. The next closest team is the Wuhan Wild Wings with 68, 67. So I'm a Baker boy smoking shit. That's the best uh, advice I can give right now. All right, anything else, guys? Notre, Notre Dame quarterback in 93 was named Kevin McDougal. Even the black uh, on that team who were Irish, and even the black guys. It's so true. Yeah, that was the one year McDougal played right after uh, Ron Paulus left. All right. No, that was no, that was between Rick Myra and Ron Paulus. Notre Dame score for Saturday. Oh, they're gonna smoke them. We're gonna fucking smoke Boston College. We're gonna beat them by twenty four points. I'd like to go to the game, but unfortunately, you can't do anything because of fucking COVID. Unfortunately, so any other questions you guys have? Do I think Rayla should challenge Baker? Um, no, I don't think. I mean, she could do whatever she wants. But um, I would not recommend it. I mean, I like Rayla as a person. I consider Rayla a friend. But a serious candidate for office can ask some things differently if she um, is serious about, you know, making a run at office. And amongst those things, like you can't. You can't, you got to let somebody else do your fighting for you. You can't get into a thing with two ratchets in a new Bedford parking lot. It's just polls show that that's an ineffective way to build a coalition, if you will. Um, so, no, I don't think the next governor, unfortunately, if you guys think Charlie Baker is bad, uh, wait until you see Governor Moore Healy because that's coming next. Let me tell you. Governor Maura Healy's coming next, and you're going to be, like, begging for Charlie Baker back. Because Charlie Baker is awful. He's awful. Sadly, he's as good as it gets. It doesn't get any more, um, like, right-wing than Charlie Baker in this state. So we're just completely fucked. Anyway, um and I like Rayla. It's nothing against Rayla. You know, I think that I, I completely have her back, you know, what she did there, whatever. I just feel like when you, if you're the candidate, if you're the candidate, you don't need to be on the front lines. Like you have, that's what your soldiers are for. That's what your, that's what people like me are for. We're the front lines. We don't need you on the front lines. If you're going to be on the front lines like that, like you're just not, it's nice. I got your back. But you're just, it's hard to go anywhere with that. And, you know, you, you she's not going to win congressman, obviously. You're in Iana Presley's district. And governor, I mean, you need a lot of money behind you, a lot of shit. And you got to be a moderate. Like a Trump supporter is not going to get elected governor in the most liberal state in the country. It's just not going to happen. Joe Curtis, Tony, next governor. I mean, you never know. He might fucking run. He might run for attorney general or some shit, you know? Will Elizabeth Warren be announcing her candidacy uh, for senator again? I'm sure she'll run again. Why wouldn't she, you know? Why wouldn't she? Unless uh, Joe Biden appoints her to something, we'll see. Deval Patrick was better than Baker. I mean, I failed to see a difference, quite frankly. But Maura Healy would be worse. Trust me. Like, Governor Maura Healy would be Ryan Fatman. I mean, Ryan Fatman's a good guy. I love Ryan Fatman. Um but he comes from a red district. Uh, he represents Sutton and some towns in central Massachusetts. And he, I'm sure he's conservative. Like he's a hundred percent conservative. I'm not convinced that somebody like that can become governor, but he's very like respectable and they are very good politicians. The fat man's like 
She just got reelected. Stephanie Fatman is like the only Republican in the state who won anything because they know how to fucking campaign. I had shit from her in my inbox everywhere. Billboards go up. I'm just not, that can work in Worcester County because it's one of the more conservative counties in Massachusetts, but it's not going to work in Suffolk County. It's not going to work in Middlesex County or Norfolk County or Essex County. It's just not going to happen. But he could give him, he could get like 40%. He could get like 40, maybe 42, 43%. But I don't think he can win. Oh, that's a good one. The police commissioner, Willie Gross. Yeah, I mean, Willie should run for mayor, first of all. He should run for mayor of Boston. I don't know why he's not. He'd be by far a better mayor than M Marty or any of these other dipshits running. Uh, all right. Anything else? What's the story with the homeless couple posts earlier today? I'll get to that. I will get to that. Brett says his phone died. So that is the story of Brett. She, oh, Shiva got retweeted by Don Jr. Fucking great. Oh, God. Oh, the fucking Trumps are killing me. It's over. I mean, it's over. Once you start retweeting Shiva, because he re he tweeted at the master and he's like, uh, you might want to get in contact with me, Don Jr. and this and that. Uh, it is this and, like I've got a mathematical formula with a parabola and this and that. And Don Jr., if if you're retweeting Shiva, you have to recognize that you've given up. It's it. You are fucking very very desperate for a find a way to fucking win this election, and it just ain't happening. So the election's not going to be overturned. All the fucking recounts ain't going to make a fucking difference. You, it's not enough to just read. You got. You can't just do one state. You got to win Georgia, Arizona, and Pennsylvania. Good luck with that. Good luck with that. And no judge is going to fucking overturn this and be like, yeah, let's fucking vote all over again. It's not going to happen. So all you people whining about, oh, you're giving up. No, I'm being realistic. There's nothing I can do about this. I don't have the ability to make Donald Trump president. If I could, I would. I, I lack that ability. So I'm just being real with you here. They're not overturning this fucking election because you want them to, because you think there was voter fraud. Even if there was voter fraud, they're still not going to overturn it. It's not going to happen. Not going to happen. Is Shiva a scientist? I can't remember. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. He had in the back of his fucking, <laughs> I posted this on Facebook yesterday. You know, he's got a library in back of him. You zoom in on what's be there's a fucking cat in the hat is the centerpiece book <laughs> cat in the hat. He's got a bunch of Dr. Seuss on there. Learned man. All right. Um, if nobody else has anything else, um, we'll call it a night. Refresh those donors one more time. I don't want to miss anyone. Okay. I think we're good. All right, guys. Um, so I guess we will um, see you guys all on Saturday night for the next episode of the live show. Make sure you like all the pages uh, and we will see you guys then. Peace, Starter Riders.